We're here with Seattle Pacific women's soccer coach Chuck Sekra. Um, coach, uh, you had a very ambitious spring schedule again, like you usually do. How did things go uh, during the spring for your team? I thought it was a very good spring overall. No one outplayed us. I thought we won some nice games. Um, but really, we figured some things out for the fall. Um, going to be put, put some people in some key positions that we know are going to work out now. Try some people in some different positions. I'm um, very excited about Brandy Hamry playing offensive center, man. I think she's going to score a lot of goals there. I think she'll give us a work rate um, that we haven't had there in a long time. And, um, you know, we, we figured out some other things like that as well, which is always exciting. I think some people think a coach's job is done uh, at the end of the season and then you're just around the office maybe, but uh, we know you're real active in the summer. What have you been doing since the end of spring? Yeah, I've been real active. We had uh, an ID camp, which was awesome. We identified some future Falcons, I feel, and then had a high school camp, and I've been out recruiting a lot, um, kind of getting ready for the 2013 class or 2012s are pretty much done, but um, yeah, it's been a, a busy summer. The season's fast approaching here. Yeah. You're the two-time GNAC champs. Uh, what are your thoughts as you attempt to defend that uh, title? I'm very excited. I think we have a tremendous team coming back. I think we have um, depth like we haven't had in a couple years. I think especially at the defender spot. Well, I'd say everywhere, forward, goalkeeper, and mid. I just feel like we have a very deep team that's full of talent. I think you're going to see this team be one of the hardest working teams we've had in a while. I think they're a very determined team, very talented team um, that's on the same page. And I'm excited about a lot of things. I'm excited about the two uh, transfers coming in, Josie Graybill and um, Alexa Hughes. I'm excited about our freshman class, which I think is not just a great match talent-wise for us and is going to make us better, but character-wise and the type of per people that are going to fit in great with us. And then I'm, I'm excited about the group we have returning. We really worked some things out in the spring, and uh, we have a talented group coming back that I think is going to hit the ground running. Uh, is there a player that uh, you can single out who maybe uh, fans didn't uh, didn't get to see too much last year that you really expect big things from this year? Yeah, I think there's a couple of them. One being Annie Thomas. I think Annie is a great player. Um, Annie redshirted last year. We probably could have played her at some point in the season. It was hard not to. I think she's that good. But um, Annie's going to be plugged in at center back. We expect her to come in and, and really uh, get after the starting spot and, and challenge for that and, and grab a hold of it. Uh, I think Annie is a tremendous center back. I think she's tough. I think she's a great tackler. I think she's good with the ball. I think she's great in the air. And I think a lot of people are going to see why, wow, this kid is a difference maker for us. So I'm excited to get her on the field. Um, obviously, sitting out the fall with her ACL tear, um, she played in the spring and she was good, really good, and we just think she's going to be even better this fall. Do you have any thoughts on the uh, recently completed uh, Women's World Cup? Well, it was enjoyable. Uh, it was very competitive. It was neat to see some teams, um, some countries step up that I didn't expect, like Japan, um, Australia. I loved watching play. I just thought they were super athletic. Um, very offensive oriented, in my opinion. I didn't see a lot of great defending, um, and obviously I, th I thought Hope Solo was the, by far the best goalkeeper at the World Cup. Just really separate herself from all their goalkeepers. Um, obviously uh, excited about the U.S. and their run, and I'm glad that they brought back even more attention to our women's team. Obviously, we all wish they would have won it, but very proud of what they did. Soccer fans who enjoyed watching that w Women's World Cup uh, will get a chance to watch your team in the fall quite a bit as you start the season at home uh, with a, a long stretch. Your thoughts on this year's schedule? Well, I love our schedule. I think it's challenging. I think we play some big games at home. Um, what I like about the games at home is they're against teams that I think we want to um, obviously have great games against. And some of those teams are going to be in the hunt for the same thing we are, which is NSA tournament berth and a seed. And I think for me, you always read the scores and you say, gosh, I hope this team doesn't win or I hope, you know, maybe we get a win here and they drop a game so we move ahead of them. And I think what's good about the home schedule is you get a chance to play those teams that you usually watch and say, we can take care of this on our own. Um, uh, we don't need to watch any more games. So, I mean, I think that's exciting for me. Um, all the teams are great, and they're going to be good games and excited to play them at home. And lastly, uh, when do you start your uh, fall camp, and um, what do you plan to do uh, early on in that to accomplish? Yeah, we start Sunday, August 14th. That's more of a report day. We'll start training um, on Monday, August 15th, and we're going to just uh, start working on who we are as a team, working on our speed of play, working on possession, working on our rhythm together, our team defense, our team offense, um, and just really trying to get this group on the same page together as quickly as we can. And I don't think it's going to take that long, and that's what I'm excited about, but that'll be our first goal, get these guys playing a great level of soccer together.